Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division. Today we're going to take a look at part 31 of my Let's Play Every Division in the Game in Order. <clears throat> Last time it's been a while we did the 3rd Canadian Infantry. We got absolutely destroyed. And today we're going to, to look at the second New Zealand. So it was an oddity among the Allies. Neither infantry nor armored but a hybrid combined arms battle group. It is a well-rounded choice balanced on both the offense and defense. So let's look at what they have here. These are cool, I guess, but... Uh, hmm. Maybe I could do that. Nah, let's not. Can I bring these with these? Yeah. So let's actually uh, bring these guys with the Piat at least, you know. Maybe a couple of stag hounds. It's pretty expensive though for uh, a 37 millimeter. This is definitely more of an infantry support, let's be honest. Um, maybe we can bring these with the Lynx. Eh, Lynx kind of sucks, right? It's only got one Bren. At least this is a 12.7 millimeter. It, it it do cost a whole lot more though. Gotta keep that in mind. And what's the infantry? The Maori Scouts? Two Thompsons, two MP. Yeah, I guess I could bring that as well. And this is a sniper. Field engineers, we could bring them in A for speed. <coughs> Let's bring some diggers around here for numbers. Maybe some Maoris as well. There you go. With some uplights. There you go. This this could be my A phase infantry. Maybe I could actually take a card of diggers uh, non-vetted just to boost, or nah, maybe not. Maybe I could just take uh, diggers with Piat here, non-vetted. And there you go. Eight, twelve. Seven. I think that I think that could be good. Tanks. They don't have lots. So let's take a Stuart and A phase. A couple of Shermans here and there. Vickers machine gun will need five here. Uh, yeah, six there. Twelve and B phase. I, I think I'm gonna go for a, uh, a Vanguard deck maybe. Or maybe Maverick instead. Alright, anyway, let's see as it goes. Uh, I'm going to take the regular 6-pounders. In B phase, I could take these guys, the Raiders. They have 50% more stealth. So that's pretty good. How fast is that, Morris? Uh, 80. Wow, and I can bring a 17 pounder with it? We'll, we'll use that for sure. Here you go. Two buffers there, two there should be plenty. Uh, mortars. There you go. I mean, it could be very useful, and uh, but I won't. And then, um, oh wow, we're really sis uh, forty six sis set with this, so we can take three planes. We could take this to open up in a phase, um, seeing as we're gonna be 
playing as a Vanguard deck. P51 or Spitfires? Let's look at both planes here. Uh, prefer the Spitfire armament, 420mm bullets rather than 12.7. Speed, though, for the P51 is much better. Optics are the same. Agility for the Spitfire is very good, so I am going to go with the Spitfires. Pretty expensive, though. Was was what ninety five points and that's one hundred fifteen, and the recon is much better. Agility very good. Optics are high. No, overall the bullets are not uh, are not better, but it's still good, and for less of a price, yeah, I'll take them. The Baltimore, ah, uh, that's a big loadout. I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, oof, these are expensive. But I am going to go with these guys. These are pretty powerful. And then let's take uh, the Baltimore um, here as well. <coughs> I think this could be our group. New Zealand video. Um, let's just double check this again. Vanguard deck. I am coming with this, this, this. Not a lot at six pounders uh, in B face. That's a problem for me. Let's bring more six pounders. And then B phase will have these 17 pounders. Or I could even just have six Wolverines. Let's look at that infantry. Um, so, to open the game up with, we got these recons. Uh, Stag out, I could probably remove that. It's not that great, but it does go at 90 kilometers an hour, actually. We could keep it. Nine field engineers, six diggers, Piat, and this is my only elite infantry in phase A. I feel I don't have enough. Should we just commit entirely to phase A? The Catadromis, those could be good. I mean, look at that. That sounds legit. Uh, don't we have uh, Legionnaire? I, I guess we don't. More Marys and uh, more Uplights, I guess. <coughs> so this is strictly Phase A. I mean, we could remove the Sherman. If we get to Phase C, we're just not going to survive. So why even bother, right? Or instead, I could get a lot of Shermans. What to do? What to do? I wish we'd have had more infantry. And that's definitely the case here. Uh, I wish we had more infantry. You don't really need that. Uh, I like the range, but it's not a necessity. Uh, this I cannot take. So I guess I could take more Shermans in phase B, maybe. That's pretty much all I'm going to have to spend in Phase B. What do I have? I got the uh, Snipers, Wolverines, Bofors. Hmm. 
I really should take at least one infantry in C phase. Or uh, B, actually. Kind of reinforce the front line. Hoplites are 16. They cost 25 diggers. What's the difference? Uh, 0.7 for the rifles versus 0.8. They got Grease Gun 1, Thompson 1. And they got 2 Bren 1. So 2.8 damage for their hoplites. And... Uh, Set with uh, science is set uh, 2.5 versus 2.8. Science is set yet. Hmm. The hoplites got 12 strength too, so that's definitely better. 24, 24, 16, 16. All right, we're gonna reinforce with uh unvetted. So uh, I guess this is going to be the deck, a big Vanguard deck, like we've never seen before. <laughs> this is not my playstyle at all, but I found some success recently with Vanguard decks, which makes me want to try out this deck and see what happens. I could get absolutely destroyed, of course. It goes with the job. Alright guys, well, I'll see you for next video. We will be playing the second New Zealand Vanguard with this monstrosity. <laughs> Um, yeah. Ciao, guys.